looks like we're going right into the first game here. Carl's rocking the Fox McLeod as usual. Well, he's something that's Chulk, isn't he? Yeah. Then T Hub rocking Samus. Yeah. Um, got to see quite a bit of Samus action uh, from Asteria, I think it was, from Koss. And that was pretty cool to watch. So uh, definitely a character I enjoy seeing. Cause you never, you don't see many, uh, too many Samuses. But um, all right. What was that? No, I'm talking to myself. Oh, I gotcha. The names are screwed up. <laughs> Ooh, I like that drag down with the forward air from Carl's to confirm into a smash attack. That's like the one thing I do really, really admire from uh, Smash 4 is the multi-hit moves. If you don't get the last hit, um, you can do so many cool things with them. And he's going to get a call out here on that air dodge, and that should be it, and it is. Taking 77% though, so I wouldn't say that was too bad of a stock for T-Hug at all. He's going to need to get a confirm here if he wants to even this game back up. Still getting trapped at that ledge. Finding center stage now gets a big charge shot on him. Let's see if we can keep him off. We do have another charge shot, and Carl's isn't making sure that he's spacing himself around that. Oh, uh, well. Oh, but still gets blasted. 49% separating these two players in game one. And Carl's going to get something started here again. Really good at calling out these uh, air dodges off of the down throw. Carl's is getting some very, very nice confirms off of his tilts. See what this punish is. He's gonna try and call something else. Okay. Ooh, that shine put him right outside, and that's gonna kill off the top. Game one goes to Carlos. Astrea, what's up, Lou Money? to me at cost we finally put nightbot on there uh -huh. and it was super strict on everything like if you put all caps and stuff i'm like i'm a i'm a ground nightbot going into game two though we're on smashville now uh bringing up the shulk though which we talked about in game one i'm excited to see the changes to this character because it's going to be really really easy um to make your switches now uh with the new ultimate change which is it's pretty much like a wheel so you hold uh, you hold down B or neutral B, whichever one it is, and um, you can just go to the one you want. So I'm sure they'll think of some really interesting combos that utilize multiple um, multiple modes. But um, actually, Tiab taking the the starting command here, getting a really really nice up B there, and he's al uh, already putting Carl's at close to 100%. Yo, yo guys, you're not you're on deck over there. You know that, right? Okay, cool. Just double check. They were they were gonna play the ninety nine slot max, so and warmer. Nice. That's what they all say. Now they're gonna be a couple of Blast them. And uh TF taking a really, really nice early lead. See what Carl's can do with this corner pressure here. T up finding his way back in, starting a nice little combo here. I thought he was going to use the charge shot there. So Carlos has the speed mode on right now, which means it's going to be less knockback. But he's switching here now to the finisher here. Is that going to be cut off the side? Not quite. Oh, was that a footstool? <laughs> Trying to find ways of evening this game back up, and he's finding these little 
Ariel is here, uh, slowly chipping away at T Hub to bring this game back closer to even. It's actually been sort of Carl's game the last like uh, 20 seconds here. Uh, T Hub hasn't really been able to do too much, but Miss Night Grab is going to mean a punish. What was that? I haven't done this for a month and a half. Oh, you're fine, dude. Oh, that was a good late aerial. Is that going to be enough? Wow. And Carl steals away game two.